Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to see about the having clause in a SQL. It is similar to the WHERE clause and it is a very much important interview question also. What is the difference between the WHERE clause and the HAVING clause? So these are all the things we are going to discuss in this video. So let us start. So the SQL HAVING clause is similar to the WHERE clause. So when actually we use a WHERE clause, whenever we have to perform any filter operation, we use a WHERE clause. For taking example, suppose this is my table. In this table, I have to filter a data where address equal to the daily. So in this case, what actually I will do? I'll write a query select star from table where address equal to the daily. Then, uh, then I will only get the daily data. Means I am filtering a data from whole table only the daily data. So for that, I am applying a where clause. So where we use to filter a data. Now having clause is also similar to the where clause. This also we use for the filtering a, a rows in a table based on the criteria. Now both are we both we are using for the filtering. Then what is the difference between the having versus a where that we are going to understand. So having clause was added to the SQL because the where keyword cannot be used with aggregate function. So whenever you have to apply any filter on top of the aggregate, then we use a having so whenever any aggregate on top of aggregate if you have to apply some filter then we use a having clause if you will apply on top of aggregate where clause that will not work so that is the thing for taking example select suppose you have written one query select sum of salary sum of salary from customer table customer table customer's table now on top of this, uh, suppose you have to apply a, a filter like sum of salary should be greater than the uh, 10,000. Then what we use, we will use a cell having clause. Having sum of salary should be greater than the 10,000. It will work. Let me show you. You can see 3500, but if I will use where here. If I will use a where clause here, then if I will execute this, you can see we are getting error and aggregate may not be appear in where clause. So whenever you had to apply any filter on top of this aggregate, we use a having clause that we have to remember. I hope you got the idea. Now let's try to solve this question. So we have one of the table customer table. If I'll show you, I have one customer table select star from customers. This is the table I have. I have a few questions that we are going to solve and we are going to understand how actually we can use a having clause. Our first question is like find the address of the customer where total salary is greater than 5000. So what we have to find out, we have to find out the sum of salary of this all the address and we have to group based on the address. Means in each address, what is the total salary we have to find out. How actually I can write a query for this. Select sum of salary comma address from customers. This will give me what is the total salary based on each address? What is the total salary of the customer? I had to apply a group by because uh, I am grouping based on the address, right? Group by address. So this will give me what is the total salary in each address? What is the total salary in each address? If I'll execute this, you can see in each address, this is the total salary. Now suppose I had to only filter those address where total salary is greater than 5000 now in this case what actually i have to apply i have to apply a filter right so if i'll apply filter having sum of salary because sum of salary why i am writing because on top of total salary we have to apply this filter sum of salary greater than 5000 if i write this then i will get only those record where total salary is greater than 5000 you can see this address bhopal indore and mumbai their total salary is greater than the 5000. So what actually we have done from this customer table first we have find out what is the total salary based on each address. So we have applied sum of salary and we have grouped based on the address right. So this will give me what is the total salary in each address. Now we have to filter where the sal total salary is greater than 5000. So we have applied a having clause. Having clause. Here if I will use a where then it will not work. Having will work whenever you are using an aggregate that you have to remember. Now the second question find the address of the customer where average salary is greater than the 5000. So, 
if we have to find out the average salary in each address what we will write select average salary and we will group based on the address from customers table group by address now this will give me what is the average salary each address so if I'll execute this this will give me average salary each address now if I had to filter if the average salary should be greater than the 5000 so in this case what I will apply I will apply one filter having filter average salary greater than the 5000 5000 if I will write this then I will get the result so whenever you have to apply on top of aggregate any filter then we use a having clause instead of the where clause that is the thing we have to remember